All right, so we're gonna dive into the top five feeds. These are not in any particular order, uh, but these are what we feel are the best feeds to choose if you're playing an Echo Knight. I'm Nerdarchist Ted. And I'm Nerdarchist Dave. Welcome, Welcome to, to Nerdarchy, Nerdarchy. for nerds by nerds. Looks like we're jumping back into some more fighters and feats today. Yeah, this time we're gonna focus on the Echo Knight. So what are the things we have to take into consideration when we are choosing our feats for the Echo Knight? So the great thing about the Echo Knight is they're like, you know, Echo, they're, they're Shadow Clone, call it whatever you want. Uh, but the mechanics that interact with the Shadow Clone, I think are gonna be really important to, to look at when we're focusing on what feats and the interactions that they have in the mechanics. So it costs your bonus action to summon a new Echo. And there's a lot within the Echo Knight's, uh, you know, mechanics that use their reaction for attacks of opportunity and that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you're not choosing feats that are going to tie up those things because that's going to limit what you can do as your Echo Knight. Yeah, so as a, as like you said, as the Echo Knight, you get your shadow. That means you basically you can be positioned in two places within 30 feet of each other on the battlefield for, for most intents and purposes. You can get your... Um, Attacks of opportunity from both positions, you know, which is su you know super useful. So, like you said, that's going to require more of your, your reactions. They have a shadow martyr ability that also uses their reaction, um, summoning it, bonus action, like you said. And I believe the other thing that uses their bonus action is you can teleport to where your shadow clone is uh, around around the battlefield. So again, you know, uses for reactions and. And bonus actions, which you know, usually fighter, and also as a fighter, you also have um, second wets it, second wind that you can do as a bonus action as well. So these, you know, so these are going to all be considerations when you're playing your Echo Knight. So like these are the the primary overarching concerns that that we're looking at when it comes to what feat selections that we feel are going to be best for our Echo Knight. Right, but before we jump into that and go over our picks for the feats, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Hit Point Press. They're at it again. They're over on Kickstarter. They run these premium Kickstarters. They always do really well with them because they put a lot of love, attention, and care into the products that they make. Humblewood Tales is a 5e companion book to the Humblewood campaign setting, featuring expanded lore from the everyday happenings and events around the mystical tree city, Outer Heart. With over 200 pages, this book has everything you need to play, including pre-made characters, a bestiary, and more. Gather your party and embark on five incredible hum Humblewood adventures for levels three through eight. Prepare to encounter pirate mercenaries, face off against the Slime King, and take on Amarthan Kren in a nightmarish land dreamscape, among other fantastical adventures. We're going to put the links in the card up here as well as the description below. Do us a favor, do yourself a favor, and go check out that Kickstarter from Hit Point Press. All right, so we're gonna dive into the top five feats. These are not in any particular order, uh, but these are what we feel are the best feats to choose if you're playing an Echo Knight. All right, so first up is Sentinel. This one is gonna be a little tricky um, because depending on whether you want to use your reaction for defense or offense, but it is such a great feat. I think with having more positions on the battlefield, it's gonna be even more use useful uh, when you hit a creature with an attack of... Uh, an opportunity attack, the creature speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Well, that would work whether it's you or your Echo, your Echo clone, so that's perfect. And that actually doesn't interfere with anything. So, the, you know, the, the thing is we said, oh, we don't want to use anything that uses your reaction. But this is doubling down on your attack of opportunity, use of your reaction. So you're getting more juice out of this feat because you technically have more area that you can threaten because you have that clone out there. Uh, creatures provoke opportunity attacks from you, even if they take the disengage action before leaving your reach. Again, doubles down, no problem. You know, uh, for those pesky goblins that want to disengage as a bonus action, I don't think so. Uh, and then finally, we have creatures within five feet of you make an attack against a target other than you, and that target doesn't have this feat. You can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creature. So this is the one where it becomes a little bit tricky because it's a reaction thing. But hey, if this is this particular round, you don't have something to do with your reaction, you can use it for this. Yeah. So this this really doubles down on what you're already doing and adds some extra little options. I think it's a it's a great feat and works really well with the Echo Knight. 
the next one up, uh, we kind of have a, have a pairing here, depending upon which particular style you're looking to go with. That's going to be Great Weapon Master or Sharpshooter. Both are incredibly useful for doing extra damage, being able to take that minus five to do a plus 10 damage. But you're probably not taking both of them because you're not using a big weapon and ranged as your primary. But depending upon what type of uh, fighter you're looking to be ranged or melee, you know, you're not using that bonus action for an offhand attack. Maybe you're using a shield, but maybe not. If you're using a big weapon, this is going to be really, really it for you, regardless of whether you're attacking from yourself or from your club. So the one area where you might co come into conflict with your bonus action with Great Weapon Fighter is if you down an enemy or square crit, you can make another attack as a bonus action. So if you had used your bonus action to teleport to your Echo Clone, or if it was something you are thinking about doing, then you might not be able to do that. But that being said, right, because you can make attacks from you or your clone, Alone, you down some something and you still have a bonus action to attack. Can you technically take that attack using your clone instead of you? I believe, you know, within with the way it's written, I would say absolutely. So it expands things there. Right. And um, as far as, you know, um, the sharpshooter feet, it doesn't affect anything. Right. Because with that, it's, you know, you know, does cut how a cover affects you or long range affects you. So. No problem there. It just means you you can switch your positioning where the attacks are coming from on the battlefield. Indeed. So next up is Lucky. Uh, Lucky is going to be a feat that is is awesome, but no matter who you are, right? Let's face it. But the reason why I thought Lucky would be great for an Echo Knight is one of the problems with the Echo Knight is their Echo. It's really easy for it to go. It has one hit point. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy for it to go down. Maybe you don't think it's worth it to save your Echo so you can, you know, not have to bring it back later. But, you know, if someone scores a hit on your Echo, you can make them re-roll it. And, you know, maybe your Echo stays around. But like I said, it might not be worth a luck point to you. But either way, Lucky is always really good. I... I... Completely agree. Lucky is fantastic. And I feel, you know, using using your non-action to make them re-roll uh, is, is really good, in my opinion, to keep that around. So you still have your bonus action to be able to do other things, should you so desire. The, the next one on this list doesn't involve your bonus action or your reaction. It's actually going to take uh, use of the other aspect of what the Echo Knight can do, and that's when you can kind of go into your clone and allow them to go more than 30 feet away. The, the, the clone can actually be like a scout that can go up to a thousand feet away from you, and it's awesome for them to go out and look for traps, look for danger, and oh no, it died, no big deal, you just pop back into yourself. No harm, no foul. So with this one, I'm taking Observant to get a plus five to, to your passive perception and to your passive investigation score. This is super helpful and like, okay, I'm gonna go out there and you've got that sacrificial clone that, oh no, I triggered a trap, no big deal. Oh no, I found the monsters, no big deal. Yeah, it, you know, the exploration uh, pillar of the game and this feat, actually, we're not taking it for combat reasons at all, really. And so you can interact and spy, essentially. So lastly, the these are the feats that we basically take every time, you know, a warrior class comes up. Because I feel like, you know, you're generally going to fight with a type of weapon. Um, and that's why, you know, Crusher, Piercer, and Slasher are such great feats. They're half feats. They're going to give you either a bonus to strength or dex or strength or con. Uh, Crusher is awesome because, you know, it lets you get some battlefield manipulation, move someone around on the battlefield. And uh, also it is going to give you some uh, kind of like a, a buff to your allies if you score a critical. Yeah, so all in all, you know, really, really good, useful. You're probably not taking all of them or even two of them unless you're like super into, I want to change weapons all the time. Yeah. Uh, but if you're if you're going with a particular style, as I believe most characters that I've seen play do, these are just, you know, easy go-to yes feats. Yeah, for sure. Um, and they all offer different things. Piercer it ups your damage potential. Um, and then I believe Slasher is also one that has the ability to uh, hinder, your, hinder and debuff and slows down your enemies when you score a crit. Indeed. Let us know what feats you pick for your Echo Knight if you're playing an Echo Knight in your games down in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. 
Quick reminder, we drop new videos on the channel uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so come on back, but you can't wait till then. No worries, we got you covered. Up here is a card to the video where we first discussed the Echo Knight with the subclasses from Wilder Mount. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.